Now the last 2018 World Cup jersey that I own that I have not covered yet is of course Uruguay. The light blue of Uruguay which is a very unique, a very nice color uh, always present at the World Cup. Now this particular uh, jersey by Puma is the only one of Puma of the 2018 version and it features all the typical Puma um, quirks if you like. The first one is obviously the black V collar uh, that is broken here by the sleeves kind of uh, raglan sleeve pattern um, and again Nike came up with something like that and Puma made here uh, the collar and then on the back you have the sleeves and then it continues. That's the one thing that I really find odd. The other thing that I really find odd, I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up but there's these dotted better patterns along the sleeves yes picks it up nicely and of course on the front you see the sun pattern which is the same dot pattern and then the sun almost disappears because there's dots all over here now um, I think on the real Jersey, this is the replica on the player version jersey. This is due to the fact that there's the Evo knit, which kind of makes it a little bit tighter. And there's a lot more patches here on the sides that are absolutely missing on the replica jersey. Um, I just think it's an odd thing to have. Uh, Puma has kind of made it their own to make the technology being visible, but it doesn't make for a great jersey look. Uh, another specialty uh, of this jersey is, of course, the big sun on the front, which actually is really, really nice. It's a, a kind of an artist version of a monument to Uruguay, so uh, I really like that one. I just don't like that it gets kind of cut off here on the top due to the other knit pattern. Um, and then, of course, the new crest which features the soccer ball the telstra that i really don't like i think that's one that could be moved especially since uruguay has such a rich history put an old one here put a put one from the 30s 50s here and then of course the crest got elongated and you have now the four stars here on top and of course everyone will ask why four stars well of course there are two olympic titles uh, so if the stars are here, this is the 1924 Olympics, 28, 30 World Cup and 50 World Cup. Why the two Olympics? Well, um, FIFA recognizes those as World Championships because the World Cup didn't exist at the time. And these were the last World Cups where it was really best on best because most participating teams were still strictly amateur. The only professional leagues at that point, if I'm not mistaken, were of course England and Scotland and I think Austria had already a professional league and probably so did Hungary but there were not too many professional leagues around at that time sport was still seen to be uh, an amateur thing black Puma cat logos and then on the back you get this kind of cut of Uruguay flag uh, this is just but I really like it so the Uruguay flag is uh, all these stripes here and then there's a sun kind of similar to the American flag yeah, it is, even with all these quirks, a really nice jersey. And I love the light blue of Uruguay. And just want to make two more points. Um, the first thing is, this Uruguay jersey, I wouldn't say proof, but there's one jersey matchup that we didn't see, one color that, that, that we didn't have, that was the orange, and I take the Dutch here. This here is a great jersey matchup. Those two colors together, I absolutely love. Uh, the semi-final in 2010 was one of the nicest looking semi-finals and orange is one of the reasons and the light blue. They are two unique colors, two great soccer nations. If they play together, this is a one hell of a nice look. The other thing that I wanted to say is when France played Uruguay at this World Cup, uh, France played in white. I actually think that this is very well contrasting with each other. That would have been a great matchup. 
especially for us wears the white pants and uh, red socks, Uruguay and black. I think this would work. I don't understand why FIFA is not going for that one. That would be in any regard a great matchup. Yes, it's light blue, but it's, it's still very much contrasting. That's a matchup I would like to have seen. Uh, I know France and Uruguay have always been playing uh, light blue versus white, but France never had such a dark jersey. Well, they had once but two, in 2014, but they never when they met had they such a dark jersey. So that should have been the matchup. I would have loved to see that one too. Let me know what you think about this Uruguay jersey, uh, Puma jerseys in general this year. And give me a thumbs up, like my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.